Well, police describe this as a very dangerous situation, a pursuit that started in Salem and ultimately ended in Windham. The car has three broken windows and a spent taser cartridge inside the front seat. Salem police say this was driven by 27-year-old Amanda Warren, who led them on a three-town chase before being arrested. Authorities say it started on Clough Road Tuesday evening when Warren was driving erratically and failed to stop for police, reaching speeds of more than 60 miles per hour in a 30 zone. When a police officer came in the other direction from her with uh, blue lights and sirens activated, she swerved at that vehicle, forcing that officer off the road. Authorities say Warren forced several other vehicles off the road and eventually turned onto Lake Street, where Salem officers put down spike sticks to puncture the car's tires. The spike strips were deployed. Uh, they were ineffective. Um, when the officer who deployed them, she did swerve at the two officers that were out of their vehicle attempting to deploy the, deploy the uh, spike strips. Police say the pursuit went from Salem through Derry and into Windham, where Warren was allegedly cornered on a cul-de-sac. At the point that she was boxed in, unable to drive any further, she refused to follow officers' commands, locked herself into her vehicle to the point that officers needed to break windows of her vehicle to try and get her out. Police say Warren was tased twice in order for them to take her into custody. She faces several charges that include felony reckless conduct and DUI. And there's multiple factors in my opinion. But I didn't put anybody's lives in danger, and um, I'm far from uh, harm to society. Police say one officer cut his arm requiring stitches during the arrest. Warren was ordered held on $50,000 cash bail. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.